Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengajitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. If this sounds like a contradiction, there isn't investigate further. I urge you to go over my videos. I know there's this urgency within us where we feel there's no time. We are in this strange state knowing a mystical supernatural event is about to take place but nonetheless while we are watching and waiting focus on spirit turn away from this world okay and if you want to help pass the time go over these videos and i know things will jump out at you all right <laughs> okay i'm back on here to answer some more questions thank you so much for all your comments i i, I do appreciate them i'm trying to go through them as diligently as I possibly can to make sure I'm not missing any comments. It, there's so so many there's so many more on the channel now. I'm not used to this. So I'm trying to make sure that I like and love all your comments because I really do appreciate them. <clears throat> Welcome to the channel, okay? This is all from spirit, not from me. I'm here to glorify my father, the invisible, the light spirit and love through the sun that's formed in us the word the word that's in the heart in our tongue on our tongue in the temple the image love wisdom and power of spirit the indweller it all goes on in the temple of god okay we live and move and have our being in spirit and spirit in us he's the all in all and spirit my father as i refer to spirit and there's a reason for that as i've mentioned in my videos okay because of the sun being formed in me, the way, the maturity that I am, I'm reflecting the father. Okay. The son inherits that which is the father. The father becomes the son and the son becomes the father. That's why I refer to spirit as the father. Okay. And there's so much more to it. And I don't put myself above anyone or below anyone. Okay. The only difference between me and anyone else is time. I am out of time. Okay. To my mind. In my reality, my journey, and many of us are in this collective, should we say, process of preparation for a transformation. We are together, okay? The um, the body of Christ, okay? The peculiar people in God, God's remnant, the elect, the 144,000, we are collected together. We are Coming together ready for this wonderful transformation, this ushering into a wonderful new future. The new heaven and earth that comes down to us, the new Zion, the new Jerusalem, whereby we are bridged back home. Our eternal heavenly home, not made of human hands. Okay. Right. Ooh, I can feel spirit is on me here. Strong. Strange. I'm very grateful. Okay. So I'm back on here to go through some comments because I'm aware many have got lots of questions. Everyone, in the time that we are in, there's a lot of confusion out there. It was so paramount that we got ourselves in a particular state during this times to get wisdom, to have knowledge, to turn to spirit. Many years ago, I was shouting this out and everyone was laughing at me. Okay, I said this was all coming. I warned about the activities on the world stage before they took place, but no one would pay attention. But now many are starting to wake up when we're at the end. Funny enough, this usually tends to happen. In the army, used to have this saying, it takes an incident to prevent an incident. I used to warn of these um, scenarios that could be played out. In the army, I got taught to think like Tom and the terrorist, and I could always see these potential hazards or breaches, etc. And I'd tell those above me, but would they listen? And so I always had this saying, it takes an incident to prevent an incident because no one pays attention. No one listens, okay, until it's too late. However, thanks to the 144,000 out there, the peculiar people in Christ, as mentioned in by the Bible, the light is being shined to help 
with the adoption of man into the body of Christ. Many can clearly see there is something very there's something very wrong with the world. OK, and now many are receiving these energies, these frequencies, the call. And are springing forth within themselves, hearing that sort of voice, spirit, OK, where there is this now sentient, this awareness of the self, that which you're not to that which you are and spirit. And seeing there's something wrong with this world that's getting you to question. Hence, you probably come to this channel as well as uh, seeking other channels for guidance knowledge understanding i tell you now it's all written in the scripture no one not even me is going to be able to reveal to you the truth give you a description of what's going on unless it's from spirit whereby his written inspired word is in the bible be aware the word is in our heart and on our tongue okay it's the inspired work of god the scroll it describes the journey of the soul the nature of this realm, etc. All right, it's Father that's worked through man, through his creation, to put the script, the scroll, together. And that's what it is. The scriptures is the script, the play, the plot. Okay, a lot of the script gets fulfilled in us. All right, the scripture comes alive in our heart, as mentioned in the Bible. Right, I'm going on again. So, Mark, I'm just going to... Um, answer this question because this one's a good one i won't read your whole title out mark 9474 i would take your word to i would take your words to mean that this is your first visit to this program simulation life as you say you're going home and have gone home at other times how else would you know about the other this is actually quite a good question <laughs> So, through the, uh, let me, how am I going to approach this? I want to approach this so I can articulate and convey this the best way I can and keep it basic. Through the years of my awakening and learning, I went through very strange uh, processes, receiving revelation, and I had to go, I had to be strong and courageous and go from strength to strength. And I was changing within myself, flipping from the first earthly man, Adam, to the heavenly man, Adam. And over these recent years, I started receiving memory. OK, and visions, a vision very early on in my awakening, I, re I received a vision. Then I started doing works with spirit. I was doing crate visualization one day, intense crate visualization. And when I was coming out of it, it was this it's very um surreal. Spirit grabbed me in my like in my mind's eye, in my consciousness, in this creative visualization, and said, Don't leave this vision. I was like, okay, okay. And I come out of the creative visualization. And I was took it back by it. I had to go pick my boys up from school. This was many years ago now. And this vision, I actually saw before my mystical experience where the light merged with me. I saw a glimpse of it. Then I was doing creative visualization with it where spirit, there was intervention. And spirit was saying, you stick with this vision. That's because the process I was going to go through and have to endure as i said i've been ripped to pieces and broken etc it was all prophesized no one could describe to me what was going on but scripture then i started receiving memory okay i was in my bedroom and i started in fact yeah i started receiving this imagery and this memory I used to come back into these ages, into a world like this. That's not mine. And I used to love it. And as I was remembering this woman, uh, that's what it felt. I intuitively knew there was this female, this feminine entity said, no, not yet. 
right? And she cut it off. I was like, okay. But I still remembered a good portion of it. And I was like, and it, it's like I, I had to receive it so I could share it with you. I used to love coming into these worlds. It's not my home, all right? I used to come here uh, for particular reasons. <clears throat> I know this journey, I was destined, as told us in scripture, okay, to enter this final destination to help others, which is called Shield, which we entered in the year 2012, where reality was a unique timeline where there was a denigration, peace will be taken up, and many souls will grow exponentially. Well, we needed God's remnant, his elect, his elite, 144,000 to be here to shine the light. Someone needs to be here to help with the adoption of the body of man into the body of Christ. And that's what I was destined to do. Now, I also, <clears throat> one day, a few months ago, walking with my son along the Rodwell, along this long, long path, and I got this image. I was looking at a light in the distance and I got this image of my home. And I started emerging into it. It started getting clearer and clearer. And I was like, that's my home. And I started feeling the warmth and smiling. And just as I was merging and getting clearer and clearer, it was getting more intense. I slipped in dog's muck. I was like, really? They stopped me from looking at it again. And so with the memory and with now the vision that I received right in the beginning, sorry if this is, this is confusing, the vision i worked with in the expansion of myself when I returned home, the, the memory I got of coming back into these worlds, learning of scripture, receiving revelation, etc. Now I know, without a doubt, I come from another world. Okay. I mentioned I've also retrograde. There was like a period on this timeline, I got something wrong. I woke back up a few years or a few months. I, I don't know, because there was uh, loss of memory. I'm grateful nonetheless. Okay. I needed to be molded and groomed into a particular state to do the works that I'm doing. So with all that being said, yeah, I know I come from another world. I used to enjoy these uh, realms and go back home, spend eons back home, drop in these worlds. I was destined to come into this particular timeline, this age, enter the year 2012, the end of the world, where we enter Sheol. This was also something that I would um, grow from and experience for the first time, Sheol. Uh, this uh, process of transformation, the atonement, that I would then return home this time with great rewards, with wisdom and maturity. I hope that answers your question. Okay, let me pause there. Also, because of the nature of who I am, which I'm still yet to fully understand myself, um, I've actually seen other worlds within my dream state, etc. Dreaming of the night. Father has shown me so much. It's incredible. Anyway, another question from Lumen Seeker. What techniques to apply, okay, to connect for, the, for connection with spirit, okay? What sort of things can you do to really, I guess, or methods to try to really connect with source? None. Do nothing. Do not try any techniques, rituals, okay? You literally just turn within with your knowledge and wisdom, open the door to the I am, to the invisible, to light, to spirit and love. OK, let father teach you. It's spirit that moves you, moves upon your mind, your heart, upon the waters, consciousness. All right. Seeking the hearts and minds of man. He will give you inspiration, mind. He will move you. Literally, he says, I know every hair on your head. I know when you sit down, when you get up, I, I am going to move you. 
I'm going to make you go to this particular shop, this particular website. Trust in that. Don't you do anything. If man thinks himself to be something, when he's nothing, he deceives himself. If you're trying to do some sort of technique or method or ritual, you're not trusting on spirit. He knows the best course of action to give you revelation, to mould you, to help the spirit spring forth within you, for you to receive greater revelation. OK, don't try nothing. Enter God's rest, knowing that you are the temple of God. You say, Father, I humble myself in meekness, in truth. I open my heart to you. OK, you know my sins. You know everything about me. I want to. Again, be married to you, my first love, the Lord, the creator, a husband, as told us in scripture. OK. The soul and source, the spirit, the conceived conception. OK, we are as clay in his hands, the potter at the wheel. We're turning back to our creator. OK, back to our source, back to light, back to who we are in holiness, wholeness, completion, fullness. We knew spirit. We knew that we were all God. OK, we were all spirit, light. And so we just simply open the door back up to this truth. All right. In spirit and in truth. That's how we worship. Don't do nothing. I can't stress that enough because this is the learning I had to go through very early on. I was doing all sorts of rituals and meditations and prayer. And oh, it. But that, again, was showing my passion, my desire to really want to connect. And that's all you need. Open yourself up, surrender, enter God's rest and let Father show you. All right. Let Spirit show you. Right. Let me pause there. OK, a comment from 6623. I can't pronounce that title. Right. The connection with Michael Jackson. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Michael Jackson. OK. Towards uh, his exit, he come into the realisation that father had been working through his work. OK. Through his life. And then the voice become more prominent. You could hear it. OK. Hence, there's lots of allegories, truth drops in Michael Jackson. You have no idea how much is in Michael Jackson's music. OK, massive truth drops. Michael Jackson was um, amazing, amazing idea, an apple of God's eye, an expression in this world of love. All right. And knowledge for those who pay attention. I've come across with uh, I've come across a lot with Michael Jackson. There's a period where. Excuse me. I do apologise for that. Delivery. <laughs> OK, so Michael Jackson, there was a period where he went into the Egyptian mysteries. Funny enough, that's where spirit sent me to. And I received such great revelation, the truth about the Christ, the Christ, the word that's formed in us, etc. So I understand this connection with Michael Jackson. All right. There is a light. There is a love there with Michael Jackson. And spirit was with Michael Jackson throughout his life, as well as many of us, okay, guiding us, working in us. It's only when we look back with hindsight, we, we see the works of spirit and it can, well, it does, it blows us away. So that's all I have for you now. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Just taking a delivery. But I hope this helps answer all your questions. Have a lovely day. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengajutsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Love you guys.